Zinchenko's feet, I'd still go with Jacob Kiwol. Like, because, because, listen, 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 bro. You know, Jacob. Jacob, Jacob Kiwol is not a natural. I know he's not a natural centre back, left, left back, back, but yeah. don't. I'd prefer Jacob because he's a little bit solid than Zinchenko. Reckless talk. All right, evening, afternoon, morning, wherever you are, Don from Kenya Goodness TV, and you're back again with another video. The FA Cup is here. I think actually officially it has started. One of the most significant game that was played yesterday was Spurs. But there for sure, I was so Spurs losing that game. Burnley just lost the group towards the end of it. Yeah. But anyway, it's uh, Arsenal versus Liverpool. Uh, we'll be at the Emirates. We'll be at the Emirates. Quite an uh, interesting game, by the way, that you know, guys are looking forward to. I'm specifically looking forward to that game. Oh, for sure. Especially by the after, you know, the... The, th the lethargic two stars, you know, we've uh, we've had. So I think this is probably a chance to for these guys to redeem themselves. Because I'm telling you right now where we are, you know, the problem with most Arsenal fans, <laughs> we're usually really quick. We're so reactionary, you know? Yeah. yeah. Which we're is really, normal. Which is very normal, yeah? Yeah, yeah? So, like, if we're to lose tomorrow's game, trust me when I tell you, but the fan base, the fan base is actually going to be divided. The guys are going to be Kala out. Yeah. Yeah, and you don't, you don't want that. We, we don't, don't want that, yeah? So anyway, it's Arsenal versus Liverpool. I think we've met these guys uh, uh, just this, re recently. Recently, we met the with them family. at Anfield, yeah. and we drew with them. In fact, we played so well that game. It's so funny how you know one we, of our best games of the season. Yeah, we one. played. Yeah, we played well with them. One one. In fact, that game would have lo would have won that game if, if only if, if only Zinchenko but they had his act together. And uh, if only Martinelli scored the scored chance. scored the chance he had. Yeah, that we we had those guys in our pocket for sure. Yeah, so. Uh, in being, you know, they're coming at the Emirates, uh, the home advantage, you definitely have it on our side. It's a game that, you know, I'm looking forward to us, you know, just thumping our chest and, you know, proving a point. You know, just letting guys know we are still here. I mean, what do you make of it? Yeah, FA Cup. Yeah. It's a cup that I usually look forward to. You know, we have the most FAs. Looking at the history of FA Cups. But the guys we, don't know. Yeah. Guys don't know that Arsenal has the leading trophies when it comes to FA. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, obviously, it's a cup I'm looking forward to. We got out early last time when we played, uh, was it? I think, I remember when we, we played... Do you remember the game we played when last we, season? We were knocked out in the first first game. Uh, I think it was on a this is team that was promoted. Nottingham Forest. Yeah, yeah. yeah I yeah. think it was Nottingham Forest if yeah. I wasn't wrong. Yeah. We were knocked out by Nottingham Forest mm. and um, it was really, really embarrassing. On the first round, Arsenal got knocked out. So it's a it's a cup I'm looking forward to. And yeah. obviously I'd 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 really, really love us to carry the cup because uh you know, for Mikel, it kind of leaves pressure on him. Because, yeah. you know, we want trophies now. We, we are tired of saying we're playing good football. Playing good football, trophy, you know, finishing the top four, yeah. zero trophies. Yeah. Well, anyway, well, just giving the benefit of doubt, at least he won a community shield yeah. recently. When no, the community shield don't. Not, not, no, 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 we're talking about trophies. We're talking about trophies. At least he won a community okay. shield. A community shield is not a trophy. Don't put that in Okay, your yes. No, I, I just... guess... It's okay, and that's what you're saying. It's yeah. not. It's not really a significant trophy. But I'm just saying, you know, at least we won a. You know, we have a trophy. <laughs> we <laughs> cannot season. say this season, yeah. yeah? But uh, it's not much. It's not really much of a significant trophy that you know you want to brag around. For sure. Uh, so basically, you can't brag with a community shield when you meet a Man City fan that that you have a community. You have a community shield, yeah. yeah. So I mean, the FA is a cup that I'm looking forward to, forward to us. I mean, let me let me ask you, Amber. The worst case scenario, if if it so happens we 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 don't get the Premier League, we don't get the Champions League, mm -hmm. but we get the we get the FA, will you still be a Teta in or a Teta out? I'd still be a Teta in. <laughs> I wouldn't be too harsh on him. You know the you know you know why Chelsea. Do you know the one of the reasons why Chelsea Chelsea's downfall? Yeah, it's because they got rid of. Tuchel. And Tuchel, they were so quick to yeah. get rid of Tuchel after yeah. after they saw. You see, you see, every team. One thing people have to realize, huh? mm. it's like Liverpool. Like yeah. last season, they were not at their very best. Yeah. These times, they were losing. And, uh, yeah. 
Yeah. Now you see with Chelsea when they started after winning the Champions League and started losing. Yeah. A few games like they'd go in five games they'd maybe win one and yeah. draw one and yeah. then lose the three of them. Yeah. That's where they decided to get rid of Thomas Tuchel. And yeah. You can see it's what people don't you know even from a just from a coaching perspective. Yeah. It takes time. It takes time by the uh, it takes time to build a team to build a culture. You know, and I think Mikel Arteta has done that. Uh, you know, you don't, you don't, you know, you don't, you don't want those one hit wonder coaches like uh, what's this? The 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 guy was fired from uh, Spurs recently, Conte. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, actually, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, you don't want coaches like that. You know, come win the trophy, but you know, there's zero culture, there's zero football, there's zero, you know, zero football style of, you know. Play. Yeah. So. Uh, we have to win the. I think it's a must win game. It's a it's must, a must win, win game. Yeah. yeah, for Liverpool, it's a must win game. In being looking at uh, looking at the forwards, Mosal is actually he's not available. Mm. Uh, who's not? Who's also not available? Is is uh? It's only I think it's only Mosala for Liverpool. Zobozlai. Zobozlai, he is available. Uh, yeah, I think he's available. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, <laughs> Don. Yeah. One thing. One thing people love to look at, yeah. We remember we ju- we we've just lost like two games in a row. Yeah. This game we can't afford to lose it. We can't afford to Mikel, lose it. Like for sure. For Mikel, we can't lose. Yeah. We can't like nothing. Especially big, Liverpool. Yeah. If, even Klopp, even Klopp said it. Uh, Liverpool right now they don't really have the best with some players missing. Uh, so looking at us right now, we have all except from uh, Tomiyasu. Tomiyasu has gone for the Asian Asian uh, Asian Cup. Yeah, I think we should be good to go. We have all our players intact. Someone like Thomas Partey, even if he was available or not available, this season he has really had you know less significance game to the time, team. Yeah, yeah. So I think this is a game that uh, it's a must win. It's, it's a it's, must win. It's a must win game. Yeah. So like uh, we're now in the transfer window. Yeah, we there's some couple of loopholes that you know been talking about. We'll do another video, but they're talking about the transfer window and. The, the players are linked to, but uh, looking at the center forward position right now, clearly by the Brentford is not. I don't think Brentford is going to sell Ivan Tony. Maybe, maybe next season. Yeah. I don't think. I don't yeah. think. I don't think because the way Brentford right now okay, is. Okay, they will listen. They, they, they. This, this January window, they can sell Ivan Tony if uh-huh. they get get a good deal. Yeah, if they get a good deal. Yeah. Because hundred million deal. That's yeah, it. but who's going to buy? Who's going to spend a hundred million? Right Tony is not a hundred million. Yeah. Not, he, he he hasn't played for like. Six he hasn't years. played like. I don't think I think that I don't think Tony is going anywhere. I think Tony is going to stay by that Brentford. So like looking at the options right now, the players will be linked to who do you think? Of course, Victor Simon, by the that's that's also, that's also a no brainer. I'm also not going to have get into that. But uh, the Bournemouth striker, Dominic Solanke. Yeah, Dominic yeah, Solanke. Would uh, you? Would you? <laughs> no, no, no. I don't think. Okay, Solanke is a good player, but for me, it's just like um, you see. The thing is, I'm not sure with Solanke he can be consistent with mm. his uh, goal scoring record. Record. Yep. Maybe this is his season because we've seen strikers like having this one season wonder and mm. then they completely go, mm. they g- completely ghost. So mm. for me, I don't. Th- Solanke is a good player, but not good enough for Arsenal. Mm. Yeah. Mm. But we have to sign a forward. On you know, I was recently I was looking at um. Players Mikel has Mikel Ateta signed yeah. ever since he joined the mm. Arsenal. Like, okay, I, I saw the the defense he signed. We've signed a couple of players. Mm. Midfield, we've also signed I think a couple of players. Yeah. Now in the forward position, yeah. Can you imagine? We've only said signed Trossard, Trossard and uh, Gabriel Jesus. Yeah. Ever since Mikel ever since Mikel uh, took charge. Yeah. So the center for the, that, that that the forwards. We definitely look into it. Yeah. So now let me ask you uh, for tomorrow's game. Well, we'll get into a predictor lineup in another video, mm-hmm. but uh, I just wanted to specifically talk about the left back position. In being Tomiyasu is not available. Mm. Then uh, what's his name? Uh, Zinchenko also has a calf injury, mm-hmm. so him being available is also we're nah, not really sure about nah, it. I actually, actually saw that he he trained with the, the squad. Oh, he trained with the top yeah, with the squad. Yeah. So you think there's, there's, a chance, be... there's a chance he'll be there, but even if, if he's, he's there, not... I don't I don't know why don't you love this conversation. You you already know my my um 
Your thoughts on it? Yeah, my thoughts on it on yeah. the left back position. Uh-huh. Even if Zinchenko is fit, I'd still go with Jacob Kiwol. Like, because because listen, 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 bro. You know, Jacob. Jacob, Jacob Kiwol is not a natural. I know he's not a natural centre back, left, left back, back but yeah. Don, I'd prefer Jacob because he's a little bit solid than Zinchenko. Because considering that you're going to Anfield. No, we're not, no, we are we're I mean, Emirates. Oh no, we are at Emirates yeah. and we're playing Liverpool. Remember, mm. even if Sana is gone, they have very good players. They have mm. Gakpo, mm. they have uh, Luis Diaz, mm. who can play on both sides. So, yeah, I'd still, me for me, let me even give you guys a hint. My left back starting player is uh, Jacob Kimo. Give your. Yeah. Anyway, listen, we'll get to our predicted lineup. Mm-hmm. But then also, let me ask now in the center forward position. Hmm? Who would you want to play tomorrow? Gabriel Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, even for the for 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 for, for the the game you played recently, Fulham, I don't know why he didn't start Jesus by there. For some reason, I don't know why he said he decided to start in Ketia. Because in Ketia is Ketia is a passenger. He's just, just a passenger. passenger but yeah. we can't, we, let's not let's stop lying to ourselves. Let's, but in let, fact, this 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 window, I'm, I'm, I understand that he's also linked to Crystal Palace. At 35 million pounds would you take it would you would you would you take that five million for eddie uh, even, even even though even though even though i hate eddie i think eddie is more than that five million for 40 million 40 million is 40 million 40 million makes sense that million. five million is uh something it's, it's something it's something yeah. yeah so anyway for tomorrow's game what are your score predictions considering that we'll be at the emirates stadium yeah and um we have all our players Excluding Thomas Party and um Julian Timba Tomiasu Tomiasu and Liverpool are only missing one player. I think that me I, I'm not really sure. I think I'll check I'll check those those many those stats. Yeah. But like, I think but we know we he, they are missing Salah. They are, they're missing well, well, we know for, for sure we know they're missing uh Mohamed Salah. And uh given the recent record at home versus Liverpool. Mm-hmm. I think I'm, I'm confident that we can uh, we can actually win by three goals to one. Three goals to one. And yeah, that's a farm farm statement. Yeah. Uh, that would well, be a farm statement. Because I, th- I believe I believe this players are uh, this players this one week yeah. rest that that they've been given. Uh, yeah. I yeah. think it's given them a chance to, to reflect and you know just look on. Yeah. Uh, but I was I was from sorry I was watching in the Arsenal's training just a few a couple of minutes ago and yep. I, I saw Eddie Eddie Saka and um, Trossard mm. in particular they look really really sharp and ready for this game. They always look sharp in training. Yeah, right? I know, I know, I know. So, so maybe, 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 maybe something they can do something tomorrow. So I'm going for a three-one tomorrow. I boys. don't think Liverpool will come that serious. You know, with sorry, sorry, don't. Yeah. But you know, with Klopp. I, I haven't seen him like um, taking this cups like Kinyakabao, F-A, F-A, Carabao, serious. Yeah. He only like for me. I from what I've seen, the Champions League and the Premier mm. League is what he actually takes serious. So yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Well, let's say it goes for me. A prediction. I think I'm going for. I'll give it two one. Two one to the Arsenal. Ah. Uh, I'm at a place where by I think this guy's going to convince me why we need to you know have faith in them again uh the last two games we played in fact let, let me not even just say the last two games in fact the western game you know the, despite the fact we lost we played really well in that game i think luck someone just had a luck was a fact in that game but uh for the fulham game that was poor toothless. that was poor pathetic game toothless, toothless. I mean all the all the spineless, all, spineless, yeah, all, 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 the all, all the adject all the adjectives, but you and can negative words. Yeah, all the negative adjective words you can come up with, yeah. but bro, I mean let's let let that not ever happen again. Yeah. Because if that happens again, <laughs> to we talk at your level. We're we, we out of that level. Anyway, yeah. you guys let us know what you think. Let us know your score predictions. Let us know uh, who you want uh, to play in the lever position because we we've had a debate on that. Who do you want to play in the lever position tomorrow? Kivioro or Zinchenko. Yeah, just a couple of things. Just ensure you like, share, subscribe, and you'll be seeing this on the next one. Come on, you gunners. <laughs>